Hi everyone, I'm Ash from the Equipment Guide and welcome to our review of the best hiking tents in Australia. There's a couple of things we're going to cover today. First of all, what advice we'd give our best friend if they were buying a hiking tent, what you get for your money and a step-by-step -step guide on the best hiking tents in Australia. So what advice would I give to my best friend if they were buying a hiking tent? There are a few common questions that come up. The first one is how many seasons do I need? Unless you're hiking in Tasmania in the middle of winter, in Australia, you're probably fine with a three season tent. In a four season tent, you might find on those hot summer nights, it gets a bit too warm. How important is weight? Weight gets talked about a lot, but sometimes the lighter weight can mean a compromise on materials, internal size or features. So you really have to balance those things out when you're choosing your tent. When it comes to hiking tents though, 1.5 kilos is fantastic and upwards to 2 is okay. We definitely wouldn't recommend going anywhere near 2.5 kilos. What features should I look for? Well, double vestibules are great, so you've got plenty of space to store your hiking gear. We'd recommend single or double pole setup and plenty of internal pockets to store your stuff when at camp. Obviously, things like weight, materials and size all factor into the decision as well, and we'll get into those more in the full review. We ranked each hiking tent on five key categories. Comfort, construction, features, size, weight, and versatility. For full details, you can visit our website. Comfort includes floor space, headroom, and layout. There's a lot of difference here between tents. The Van Gogh Nevis, for instance, is pretty cramped, and it's a stretch to call it a two-person tent. Others like the Mont Moon Dance and the MSR Hubba Hubba provide spacious, symmetrical floor spaces that also leave plenty of room for your gear. The next category is construction. There's a real trade-off here between weight, quality and cost. You preferably want strong aluminium poles rather than fiberglass and ripstop material. Most of the top brands have these, it's just the cheaper tents that don't. No tents that fall into the low quality category have ranked in this review. Features. So features looks at how easy a tent is to set up, as well as other features like privacy screens, vestibules, and pockets. Again, most of the top brands here are fairly comparable and have all the basic features that you'd want. It's just another one of those areas where you need to be mindful of the cheaper models like the Van Gogh Nevis being harder to set up. Size and weight. This looks at the weight in kilograms and how much space it will take up in your pack. So the Nemo Hornet Elite Osmo is just shy of one kilo and it's a tiny little package so it won't weigh you down. On the other end of the scale is the Marmot Tungsten. It's a bit bulky in the pack and the Black Wolf Wasp Ultralight and MSR Elixir are more than two and a half kilos, so a little too heavy for us. Last but not least is versatility. Versatility looks at how we'd use the tent. So can it be used for short trips, multi-day trips, or regular camping trips? In our opinion, the best hiking tent should be able to be used for all three. So this is where we found a bit of a difference between the models. Something like the Nemo Hornet is probably best for longer multi-day trips because of the smaller inner space. The Black Wolf Ultralight, on the other hand, is probably too heavy for multi-day trips. The MSR Hubba Hubba we'd happily use for all three. All right, the all important budget question. There are always exceptions, but we can usually break it down into three main categories. So for tents under $200, you're looking at tents that are gonna be cramped, way more, and are made from lower quality materials. So we'd recommend spending a little bit more so you don't regret your purchase. The next category is the two to $500 tents. Here you can find some really great bargains that aren't that different from the higher quality tents if you know what you're looking for. Then there's the over $500 range. And really, if you're spending that much, you can't really go wrong and you'll end up with a really great high quality lightweight tent. So overall, this is where we landed. The MSR Hubba Hubba was our number one. Its price and its rating are pretty much bang on. We think it's a really well-constructed tent, it's nice and spacious, it's high quality, 
and it's just so versatile you can use it for everything next up the mont moon dance 2 and the nemo hornet you can see there's obviously a bit of a difference on the price but keep in mind the hornet has a slightly smaller internal space although it is lighter and more compact so it's a better pure hiking tent they're both really high quality tents and then in terms of value the oa hiker pro we thought was the best value. You can see how far down the price is compared to what we thought the quality was. And it's a nice, spacious, versatile, well-made tent again. The tungsten as well was pretty close behind. Okay, that's it for our review. Full written reviews can be found on our website. And if it's helped you buy a hiking tent, please feel free to jump on our website to donate and let us know what you thought.